Hi, good morning, you guys. So I want to read Galatians 5 real quick with everybody. And um, I'm coming up out of the King James Version. But there is a little passage I read that uh, I want to read to you guys, okay? And then, uh, so uh, I, Galatians 5, it says, Stand fast, therefore, liberty by which Christ has made us free. And do not be entangled again with the yoke of bondage. So that passage to me, it kind of means like, regardless of what you do, um, don't sit around and, oh, I did this. And, you know, don't become entangled with it. And also anything that would keep you in bondage. Um, repent, move on. Indeed, I... Paul, Paul say to you that if you become circumcised, Christ will profit you nothing. And I testify again to every man who becomes circumcised that he is a debtor to keep the whole law. Galatians 5, 4, you have become estranged from Christ. You who attempt to be justified by law, you have fallen from grace. For we, through the Spirit, eagerly wait for the hope of righteousness by faith. For in Christ Jesus, neither circumcision nor uncircumcision avails anything but faith working through love. You can, you ran well, who hindered you from obeying the truth. The persuasion does not come from him who calls you. A little leaven leavens the whole lump. I have confidence in you, the, in the Lord, that you will have no other mind. But he who troubles you shall bear his judgment, whoever he is. And I, brethren, if you still preach circumcision, why do I still suffer persecution? Then the offense of the cross has ceased. I could wish that those who trouble you would even cut themselves off. For you, brethren, have been called to liberty. Only do not use liberty as an opportunity for the flesh, but through love serve one another. For all the law is fulfilled in one world. Even in this, you shall love your neighbor as yourself. But if you bite and devour one another, beware lest you consumed by, be consumed by one another. I say, then walk in the spirit and you shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. For the flesh lust against the spirit and the spirit against the flesh and these are contrary to one another, so that you do not do things that you wish. But if you are led by the Spirit, you are not under the law. Now, the works of the flesh are evident, which are adultery, fornica fornication, uncleanness, licentiousness, 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 I don't know what that word, whatever. Um, idolatry, sorcery, hatred, tensions, jealousies, outbursts of wrath, selfish ambitions, dissensions, and heresies, envy, murders, drunkenness, revel, rev, revelries, and like the and the like of which I tell you beforehand. Just as I also told you in the time past that those who practice such things will not inherit the kingdom of heaven. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, kindness, goodness, and faithfulness, and gentleness, self-control against such there is no law. And those who are in Christ's have crucified the flesh 
with its passions and desires. If we live in the spirit, let us also walk in the spirit. Let us not become conceited, provoking one another, envying one another. So I felt compelled to read that this morning. Um, anyways, so pretty much just be love. <laughs> That's how I feel about it. Be love and be kind and love our neighbors. There's a lot going on in the world. Try not to get entangled with it. Um, when you come across somebody that you might not necessarily, you know, necessarily agree with, let's be, if, what if we were them and didn't understand something? We would need to, you know, handle them with kindness and love and regardless of how they're acting, because maybe they don't know how they're acting because, you know, a lot of stuff's happened in this world and people have had vaccinations that have already been proven to play with the mind and the, the way it processes and works. Um, anybody that's seen uh, Bill Gates stuff that's been going on, oh, the four people that he's done all his testing on, but, um, I would just cover people with love when you um, see them speaking in spite and just try to lead them the way that they're supposed to be. So we could be the example of um, how we're supposed to be. Love, kind, caring. I mean, the list is right here in Galatians 22 to 23. And I'll just read that real quick again. Galatians uh 5 chapter 5 verses 22 to 24 it says but if the fruit of the spirit is love joy peace long-suffering kindness goodness faithfulness gentleness self-control against such there is no law so <clears throat> as long as we're being that way that's what really matters um who wins the battle? Well, I if someone comes at me, I'm not going to argue with them. I'm going to let them win. My point, well, if they don't want to hear my point on something or whatever, well, then you win. Okay, that's fine. I can only give you the truth. And whether you take it or not, oh, well, I could try. And then if not, I'm not going to, like, keep bothering. Um, Just because... I'm going to be kind to their thoughts and how they might feel because everybody's uh, entitled to have their own thoughts and opinions, but we should be putting those thoughts and opinions out in a nice, kind way where it's not hurting anybody in the process. So anyways, today I'll probably uh, hang out in the backyard, my little private Idaho, and I wanted to come on and read that to you guys. I love you guys. And... Um, Hopefully I could get my little studio room cleaned up a little bit and then I'll put the camera out in the corner and that way I could show you my cool bright lights that I have in here. Here, in fact, I'll just show them to you right now. They're kind of cool. I want to do some videos in the evening, <clears throat> some fun videos. But like I have this cool little light set up. So I want to make some fun videos with that. I love you guys. Have a beautiful day. Ah, I almost tripped. And uh, I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.